Travis Ishikawa hits one in the right. The Giants win the pennant. This is Travis Ishikawa. He just hit the biggest home run of his life. But only months before this, after years of being in the minors, Ishikawa considered retiring from the game forever. But how did he end up here, in the most critical game of the 2014 NLCS, in this spot? Well, this is his story. In 2002 MLB Draft, 21st round, the Giants select first baseman Travis Ishikawa out of high school and give him a bonus of $955,000 to sign with the team. Ishikawa signs and begins to start his journey in the minor leagues. He started to move up in the system and became the 7th best prospect in the Giants system in 2004, according to Baseball America. 2006, Ishikawa scratches his way to the majors and gets his first major league hit on April 19th. For the next three years, however, Travis was sent back and forth to the majors and the minors as he was unable to consistently hit major league pitching. This was until 2009 where Travis became the starting first baseman for the Giants. Even though in the middle of the season the Giants traded for Indians first baseman Zoran Garko seeing that Ishikawa did not produce enough runs at the plate, but Garko struggled to produce and towards the end of the year Ishikawa made most of the starts at first base. That offseason the Giants signed veteran first baseman Aubrey Huff who made a majority of starts at first base for the Giants next season. Ishikawa rode the bench and was mostly used as a pinch hitter or a defensive replacement. But that season was the year of the Giants' magical postseason run where they eventually won the World Series. Ishikawa started one game that entire postseason. The next year, Travis was sent back to the minors where his season would end. During the summer, he underwent season-ending shoulder surgery, and on November 2nd, the Giants made him a free agent. For the next two years, Ishikawa became a true journeyman. He played for the Brewers, Orioles, Yankees, White Sox, and the Pirates, all while flipping between the minors and the majors for these clubs. The toll this took on Travis was massive as it would be for anybody, and during his time in the minors, Ishikawa considered retirement. He was only able to see his family for 14 days, from February to September. And in 2014, when the Pirates released Ishikawa after 15 games, he quickly came home to the Giants, who, surprise, sent him immediately to the minors. After continuing to struggle with life in the minors, retirement continued to loom around Ishikawa's mind. And one day, in the middle of the summer, Ishikawa was on the phone with a childhood buddy of his from Seattle. Ishikawa was in tears, talking about how tough it was in the minors. He would work hard in the cage every day trying to get better, but nothing was working. Ishikawa remembered saying he would do anything just to be a pinch hitter off the bench for the Giants. Then, in late July, Ishikawa was called up to the Giants. Left fielder Michael Morse was injured, and Travis was asked to play left field for the first time in his career. Ishikawa graciously accepted, and he became the starting left fielder for the Giants for the remainder of the 2014 season. The Giants rolled through the Nationals in the first round and then were set up to play the Cardinals in the NLCS. The Giants went up 3-1 in the series going into Game 5, which was a must-win game as the Giants did not want to have to go back to St. Louis. In the top of the third, Ishikawa got a bad read on a fly ball, which allowed the Cardinals to take a 1-0 lead. Then when Travis returned to the clubhouse, Sandoval told Travis that he would get a hit to win the game. And man, Pablo was right. After a solo shot by Michael Morse in the bottom of the 8th, the game was tied heading into the ninth. After a scoreless top half, the Cardinals sent in Michael Walker to pitch, who hadn't pitched in a game since September 26th. NLCS Game 5 took place on October 16th. Sandoval led off the inning with a single, and Belt followed with a walk. Now up, Travis Ishikawa. Travis Ishikawa hits one in the right! The Giants win the pennant! The Giants were going to the World Series thanks to Travis Ishikawa, 
and they ended up winning the World Series that year in seven games against the Royals. After 2014, Ishikawa spent one more year with the Giants before finishing his career in the minors one year later. Ishikawa's story shows where years of hard work will get you. Sure, he didn't have the best playing career, but does that really matter? If he retired, this moment would have never happened. And who knows, maybe the Giants World Series run may have never happened. But Travis stuck with it, and he had his moment. And he will remain a postseason hero in San Francisco forever. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. In the next video, we will be discussing a new strategy that could break baseball. And be sure to check out my R MLB pitchers cheating video. The link to that video will be in the description. But thanks again, guys, and I'll see you then. I still see your shadow.